Being at CPPCon has been amazing because you can directly speak with the experts. I've had conversations with Bjorn Strusep, with Sean Parent, and they're all very friendly and accessible and willing to give their opinions or advice on C++. Hi, everybody. My name is Braden Ganetsky. This is Brain Plus. I'm going to give you all a user experience. I'm very passionate about user experience, and that's why in this talk you will see a user experience, uh, as well as an innovative API. So Brain Plus is a parser combinator library using expression templates in C++20, uh, fully empty types. It is capable at compile time, and it sounds like another famous language you may have heard of before. Um, okay, so I have a parser combinator library called Token. I've been working on it for a very long time. It is real. This is how you do things in Token. If you want to grab an epsilon parser that parses a span of chars, you just call eps.ofchar. Then you can parse any, anything into it. Uh, the result will have a value. The actual value will be empty. And then the remainder will be whatever you passed in because it consumed nothing. It's an epsilon. If you want to do this in brain plus, the way that you do this is by just using the plus identifier. And then everything else works the same. You call p.plars of abc, um, and then the result is exactly the same thing. OK. What if I want a single character a? The way that I do this is with the user defined literal any of. Then I can call p.parse of abc. This will actually take off the a character. So now the result will actually be a span where it has a length of one and it has the a character in it. The remainder will have bc as you would expect. In brain plus, uh, it looks like this. So you have the plus identifier with then a bunch of operator pluses. Um, and then you call p.plars of abc. Pulls off the a, it's bc. Same thing. If you want a literal ABC in token, you call the all of uh, user defined literal. Then you call p.parse of ABC. It should pull off everything. So now the result is ABC, and the remainder is nothing as you would expect. In brain plus, it's something similar. Um, <laughs> this, this compiles. This is real code. Um, and then you call p.plars of ABC, and you get exactly the same thing as you get on the left side. OK. So let's say I want a version string. This is an example that I like. In token, uh, I will have a digit parser. I'm going to call it D. It grabs any of the digits 0 through 9. Then I have a separator, which is a literal dot. Then I modify it with ignore. Ignore just means the return type is going to be void. Just ignore the entire thing. Then the entire parser is going to be a digit followed by a separator, followed by a digit, followed by a separator, followed by a digit. So then when I end up parsing it, 1.2.3, what I end up getting out is a tuple that has 1, and then 2, and then 3. Remember, the separator was ignored. So that's nice. And the remainder is empty, of course. OK. In brain plus, the way that I do this is the digit uh, parser looks like this. Uh, the separator parser looks like this, and then combining them together looks like this. And this is exactly the same thing. I'll just collapse it a little bit. Um, when you plars 1.2.3, then uh, it's exactly the same thing. So you get a tuple of 1, and then 2, and then 3, and the remainder is nothing. Perfect. OK. I'm going to just mention modifiers for a quick second. I mentioned ignore already. I have this idea, this concept of modifiers in token, where you can use the mod, uh, the percent operator um, and follow it by one of the modifiers. You can also use it as a function call operator. And this does something to your parser. The problem is I have some that require template parameters. So like constant of value, that's a non-type template parameter. Or I have map or apply that, put, uh, that, that either invoke or apply a function. I also have into, apply into, defaulted, those take uh, type template parameters. I also have name, which allows you to give name uh, a name to a specific parser with a uh, compile time string. Um, sub doesn't really matter that much, doesn't take a template parameter. But the others do. OK, how many ways can we use plus? OK, unary plus, binary plus, prefix, postfix, call it out. Anything else? Not plus equals. Anything else? OK, we can use operator plus and operator plus plus to inject template parameters. Stay with me. So we can do this by calling. I can use a.operator plus plus of value or a.operator plus plus of type. And the nice thing is it's an overload set, so both of these can exist. And I can also have a.operator plus of a string for the named uh, modifier. And it's necessary because this is expression templates. So in brain plus, uh, so the modifiers look like this in token, and they look like this in brain plus. Still using operator plus plus, so I'm just using plus. 
Okay, so uh, for a version two of the, uh, the version string um, uh, example, I actually create a struct. I create a function that takes the span, turns it into an int, and then I do exactly the same thing as before. The dot, dot, dots are what I've shown already. So I'll just skip over that. I promise it works. I'm running out of time. I call p.plars of one, two, three, and you end up actually getting the struct version. This truly does work. I'm going to show off one more thing quickly. In token, you recurse by inheriting from something called custom with CRTP. All you need to give it is a result type optionally, but you do need a, a function called get parser. Well, in brain plus, it's not really that much different. You inherit from plusdom, and then you use plusult type equals whatever you want. That's optional, of course. And then you can have a function called get plarser, and that gives you the plarser. Okay, so as my final example, this is a version string v3. I have the version, uh, the struct. I have the function f again. Here is what it looks like in its entirety. And then I call p.plars of one, two, three, and it parses into a version struct. So that works. Next up, uh, I'm going to have a token to brain plus converter, and I'll propose to boost. So thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs>